Now, as I've said many times before, I'm not offering anything new. We have income guarantees in this country. GIS is an income guarantee, not livable. Disability benefit is an income guarantee, not livable. All I am asking to do is to increase the current income guarantees to make them livable and spread them out for those who are falling through the cracks. And I am going to be watching all MPs in this house. I am going to be watching every MP in this house today, especially the Liberal government, to see if they are truly dedicated to uphold the Canadian Charter, to ensure that all people can live with dignity and human rights, because we know that is not happening right now. And we know things have never been so difficult for so many people across the country, experiencing first time being unsheltered for the first time in increasing amounts, increased numbers of people using food banks. And we know that although this Liberal government has spoken about the affordability crisis, they have not met the moment. And we know the Conservatives, we know exactly what they have done. Now the NDP has worked really hard to make things easier in this country. We fought and, and won to put in place a dental care plan, a pharma care plan, a national child care strategy, anti-scab legislation, to protect workers. So I will be watching today and I expect all MPs, all MPs who in unanimously said that they were going to support the implementation of all the calls for justice of the national inquiry, including putting in place a guaranteed livable basic income. If they don't vote in favor, it's another punch in the gut to the national inquiry and this government's commitment to implementing the calls for justice. It is a punch in the gut for the many seniors, especially women, who spent their whole life caring for their families, who cannot live on the current allotment they're provided for GIS. To the disability community who has been legislated into poverty by, by consecutive, conservative and liberal government, is it, a, it is another punch in the gut to their human rights. So I'm urging all members of Parliament today to do the right thing, to uphold our responsibility as members of Parliament to lift up our Constitution and our Charter and vote in favour of Bill C-223 to put in place a framework for a guaranteed livable basic income. 